Hello there Lake County Library, this is Christy Lewis from the Lakeport branch and today we're going to be talking about picture books and board books, all from the same publisher that are available through our library. The publisher is the creative company who prides itself on not following industry trends, but rather going their own route and making a name for themselves with really beautiful picture books and core nonfiction titles. And most of today's books are really just gorgeous and several of them include poetry of classic poets put to gorgeous illustrations, so I'm really excited to show these to you guys and I will include pictures right up here on the right side of the screen so that you can kind of see what's inside the book without spoiling it too much. So before I jump into any of these books I just want to let you know that you can order them for free down below using the Lake County Library's online catalog which is linked down below. I have all the titles and author names listed down below so you can just copy and paste them directly into the library's online catalog. Just make sure that we have your updated information so that we can notify you when the book arrives at the library of your choosing. It's all free you just need a library card. All right, so let's jump into the book haul. First of all, we have Sashiko by Barbara Soletti and illustrated by Maria Cristina Pertelli. The elegant textile art of Sashiko is celebrated in this picture book about the embroidery style's origins as a way to strengthen the jackets of fishermen from Awaji Island. Sashiko dates back to the 17th century. Next, we have What to Do with a Box by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Chris Sheban. If you give a child a box, who can tell what will happen next? It may become a library or a sailboat, a palace or a race car. It could just as easily set the scene for a fairy tale or a wild expedition. Next, we have Always Jackie by J. Patrick Lewis and illustrated by John Thompson. This picture book biography tells the unbelievable yet true story of how an eight-year-old child from Sheboygan, Wisconsin met the legendary Jackie Robinson in the 1950s and how the two became lifelong friends. That sounds so sweet. Next, we have Nonsense Book One by Edward Lear, which is a colorful board book illustrated by Etienne de la Cert. It features one of the British Limerick Master Lear's most renowned ditties describing how a group of avians <laughs> takes up residence in a bowler-hatted, pink-cheeked old man's absurdly long, sumptuous beard. <laughs> the illustrations here are hilarious. Next, we have Puddle Song by Laura Purdy Salas. There is something about the smooth surface of a puddle that beckons to children to disturb it. This poetic illustrated board book gives voice to the puddle as it invites the stompers and jumpers to explore its rippling water, offering to act as both dance partner and mirror onto the world. Next, we have The World Below the Brine by Walt Whitman, yes, the poet. Below the briny waters of the sea is a wonderland waiting to be explored. 19th century poet Walt Whitman's classic verse employs the language of his day to express a wonder that is timeless, paired with the surrealistic imagery of James Christopher Carroll's art. Next, we have Colors of Nature by Katie Riggs, which is illustrated by Dominiconi Paolo. Learning the names of the colors is a fundamental part of a child's development. In this illustrated conceptual board book, colors are emblematic of the seasons of the year. Young readers will make unexpected connections. Next, we have Use for Swims by Julie Avery and illustrated by Sally Dang. As a girl in Damascus, Yusra dreams about swimming for her country in the Olympics. But then the war intervenes. Spare and rhyming verse relates the story of Yusra's journey from her beloved home in Syria to Germany, where she realizes her dream. And finally, we have The Million Stories of Marco Polo by Michael J. Rosen. Among the millions of stories ever told, the tales of the legendary explorer Marco Polo are the most renowned. Listen as an old-time scribe tells his curious young neighbor about stories that are worth remembering. That is it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this book haul of board books and picture books, and I hope that you'll check some of them out. Let us know down below if you have any questions or if you order any of these books, because we really love to hear from you. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.